solve 7x minus 27 is less than 8. Okay, so this is an inequality. It's an inequality because it has this symbol here, the less than symbol in this situation. But don't let that put you off. Okay, this is in essence just an equation. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite this as an equation. 7x minus 27 is equal to 8. Now, hopefully that looks a little bit more friendly to you. Um, and I'm just going to solve it as I would an equation. So if you think about the balancing method, maybe you, you um, solve equations differently. Maybe you use a function machine. Um, I'm just going to show the balancing method here. So remember, with an equation, the aim is always to get the letter on its own. That is what we're that is what we're looking for. We're trying to get x on its own. So if you look back here, what's in the way of that? Well, in the way of that is um, a couple of things. We've got uh, this and this in the way. Um, and I'm going to deal with what is not attached to the x first. In other words, I'm going to deal with the minus 27. So this is a minus 27. How do I get rid of a minus 27? I plus 27. But if you think about that on a balancing scale, that would tip my balance. So I need to do the same to this side to kind of even it out. So I've got rid of that. Because remember, this is what we're aiming for. We're trying to get x on its own. So I've got rid of that by adding 27, and I must do the same on this side. So what does that leave me with on the right-hand side? Well, on the right-hand side, that leaves me with 35 by adding these two things together. What am I left with on the left-hand side? Well, this bit went here, and I'm just left with 7x. And then how do I get from 7x down to x on its own? Well, 7x means 7 multiplied by x. So I must undo that by dividing by 7, dividing by 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. But now I need to think about putting it back into my inequality. OK, so I had a less than symbol here. So all I'm going to do is put that back in my answer. So I'm going to change it to x is less than 5. So I've just used the process of solving a normal equation to get my answer, but then just make sure that you remember to put that back in. Just as a little um, extra little bit of information, not necessary for this question, just but just to remind you of other things that you might see in this topic. Um, X is less than five can be shown on the on a number line. So um, imagine if you've got five, four, three, two, one, zero, minus one. Hopefully this is looking a bit familiar. Um, if you've got this inequality, you would show it like this on the number line if it had this part to the question as well as you know, represent your answer on a number line. You would put a hollow dot above the five. Why? Because it's less than as opposed to less than or equal to. If you've got less than or equal to, it is a coloured in dot. And then my arrow is, is going to go this way because, you know, you can keep your arrow going. It doesn't really matter. But, you can you know, as long as it's going in that direction. Why? Because it's x is less than five so if it's less than five clearly it's going to be going in this direction here another nice little way of thinking about it is i like to, to think about it in terms of um the arrow so this arrow you can see it's pointing in this direction and so it is on here as well so that's another little way of remembering it. So that's just if they ask you to represent your number on your answer on a number line. They haven't in this case, but I just thought I'd throw it in. Well done.